Hi, I'm Pat Springer from springersyarnnook.com, and I just wanted to say thanks for all those calls that you've been giving me at the store. And I've had a question, I'm so glad you did. You asked this question two or three times, so we're going to try and take care of it today. Can we use circular needles on a project that requires traditional double point needles? And we're going to think about that. Now that would be our socks, which we've already done now on circular needles, and mittens, which I've had a request for, which is what we're going to attach today, and also hats. So I'm going to go get my yarn and my needles, and we're going to use a basic traditional pattern for double points. And I'm just going to show you how to translate those patterns from double point four, four needles or five needles at a time to using one or two of your circulars. All right, I've got my sample here. And when you look at a generic pattern for mittens, it says to cast on your stitches onto four double pointed needles. Well, because of our little nine inch circular needle now, we can cast them all on one needle. So join them like you would with your marker, and then go ahead and knit the cuff for your mittens, which is probably about two, two and a half inches. After that, they usually ask you to knit up about six rounds so that you can have enough to go from your wrist towards your thumb. And we're going to place the markers for your thumb gusset 18 stitches in from your marker, which is right there. So I'm already at the 18 stitches, so I'm going to place my marker. <clears throat> now they want you to make a stitch to increase your gusset edge. So we're going to simply do this new stitch. You'll find it on your pattern as M1. We're going to pick up the ladder that's between the two stitches on either side, and we're going to dip the front needle into it. Then we're going to take the needle with the marker and go to the rear of the stitch and come into it. And we're going to knit it. Whoops, I dropped it. Hang on. There we go. We're going to knit it and bring it through. There you go. Now we have made a new stitch that wasn't there by making one. Now we're going to knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. I always have to count out loud. Now we're going to make another stitch, the same direction. I'm going to pick it up between, drop it on this side, and knit from behind. Whoops, there we go. And make this stitch. Well, they tend to be a little slippery, but I know if you try it a couple times, you'll get it too. There we go. Made right there. And now we put our other marker on, and you're going to knit around to your beginning marker of your round. And as you can see, that's where your thumb's going to go. So now we're going to knit around, and I believe the pattern will call for you to increase between those two markers, which of course are a different color from my other marker, until you have 10 stitches in between your gusset. And that's going to be the beginning of your thumb gusset. And what we're going to do with those 10 stitches, once you get them, is simply run a piece of yarn through them and put them on a holding yarn. You can use a stitch holder if you like. Either way, that's what we're going to do. So here we are back to our round so that you can see that we have the beginning of our round marker and then our two different colored markers for your thumb gusset. So I'm going to just show you that just one more time how to make a stitch. So if you just follow the pattern, knit over to your markers, and make a stitch until you have, and it's on either side, one past the first marker and one before the second marker. I'm going to do that one more time for you so you can see it. You can use other increases if you want, but I find that this one does not make a hole below it. So here we go. There's our opening, so we're going to pick it up right there. Move stitches over, it gets a little tight sometimes. Put it on, you're in the back. There we go, so there's that one. Now you're going to knit over till just before the marker. 
actually four stitches, excuse me. One, two, three, four. Let's put this one back. Got that wrong. Four stitches. Then you make another one, which is going to be right here. Okay. And we're just going to pick one up, put it on, knit into the back of it. There's your increase. And we knit the next one and go to your marker. Shoop. Okay, now you're going to do that in the pattern for your mitten until you have those 10 stitches. And that's how you're going to do that. And then when you're done with them, you're going to pick up your thread, your tapestry needle, the thread in it, and you're simply just going to work to those stitches, take your markers off, and we're going to slide them onto your tapestry needle, and we're going to put them on this holding thread while we knit the rest of the mitten. So with the stitches, Go. on your yarn, there you go, there you go, you're ready to knit your round. So you're just going to go ahead and knit all the way around, and from here, you're going to knit up till you have about five inches. And then we'll be ready to do the decrease on the end of your mitten. It's going to be really quick. It goes really fast. I'm going to get my other sample. Be right back.